My name is Richard Lau, and I am a lecturer here at the PI. I want to talk to you about becoming a mechanical engineer. Working as a mechanical engineer for ADNOC, you'll get to do a lot of amazing things. You might get to design a drilling platform in the new offshore sour gas field with GASCO, or you might get to design safe and reliable pressure vessels, storage tanks, and connecting piping for track rear, or you might get to specify engineering equipment such as pumps, compressors, and turbines needed in the process and utilities plants like Fertil or Umalnar. Or you might be asked to improve downhole oil well equipment to maximize oil and gas recovery at Buhasa with ADCO, or you might get to redesign a generator in a power production facility and then supervise its maintenance and power operation at Barouge. No matter where you go, interesting, exciting challenges are waiting for mechanical engineers employed by ADNOC. But what exactly do you study to become a mechanical engineer? Mechanical engineering is the oldest and broadest branch of engineering taught at the PI by a group of world-class dedicated professors. In their classes, students learn how to use the principles of physics to analyze, design, and maintain mechanical systems. Mechanical engineers working with mechanical devices apply fundamental scientific principles of motion, energy, and force. They use engineering science subjects together with sophisticated computer software and advanced experimental hardware to solve challenging technical problems. These principles involve mechanics, which is the study of the way matter and forces interact with each other, kinematics, which is the study of motion without regard to the forces present, thermodynamics, which deals with the relationships and conversions between heat and other forms of energy, energy, which can be defined as the ability to accomplish work, and force, which causes objects with mass to accelerate. By mastering these concepts in the classroom, students learn how to create new designs that range from small components to extremely large plants, machinery, or vehicles. They also learn how to create new systems and processes. In other words, when something isn't working or isn't working properly, mechanical engineers dream up ideas and turn these ideas into actual components or new approaches to get the job done efficiently and economically. In the oil industry, mechanical engineers design the special equipment and processes to maximize the recovery of oil and gas. In petrochemical plants, it is their responsibility to see to it that the pumps, the turbines, storage facilities, heat exchangers, separators, pressure vessels, all things mechanical work together in safe, reliable ways so that oil and gas can be pumped from the ground and transported to market. As the necessity to drill deeper continues, the mechanical engineer will be challenged to design machines that can withstand extreme temperatures and pressures while still operating efficiently and effectively. In general, mechanical engineers are involved in each and every aspect of detailed mechanical design of all equipment. Whether in upstream production facilities or in downstream petrochemical transformation plants, they ensure the maintenance and proper operation of the equipment throughout its life expectancy. As a mechanical engineer, you and your team will also help develop systems and processes to increase recovery and help lower the costs 
of drilling and production operations. Remember, it is the mechanical engineer who ensures that all the machines and mechanical devices work properly and efficiently in unison so that ADNOC can keep the oil flowing.